All right, what's happening? It is, uh, you got it, course management day. Again, always, let's go. Uh, we are out at the beautiful King and Prince Resort Golf Course in St. Simons Island, Georgia. So be sure to check them out. Link in the description below, course management day. By the way, I hope you like these videos. Uh, you know, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell too so you don't miss anything. Uh, it's good stuff. All right, so um, here's what we're gonna do today. Here's what you need. You need your, you need to be on a golf course, you need your golf clubs, and a range finder. It's gonna help, watch. All right, today is the, um, the bunker challenge, desert challenge, or the sand challenge, however you want to name it, it doesn't matter to me. So what you're gonna try to do here on every shot, you're gonna try to hit it into a bunker. Okay, so right, fairway bunkers. 234 to the fairway bunker on the right. That's my target. Why are we doing this? Well, I'll tell you. Okay, I hit a horrible shot, but I was hitting a four iron. It was downwind, I thought it would get there. It didn't even get close. Anyways, that's fine. So if you hit in the bunker, you get a point, okay? I have no points still. Uh, any bunker you get, you get one point, okay? If you get up and down, you get another point, okay? So that's another point. If you do the, uh, the Bin Laden, that's what they call it. That's where you go bunker, then greenside bunker, then you get up and down, you get a third point. And if you do the double Bin Laden, which I have done before, <laughs> you go fairway, greenside, another greenside, and then make the putt. Boom, you get another point for that. And then if you hole out a shot, obviously, We'll give you max points. Uh, we'll, we'll give you a, a five point bonus. Sound good? If you hold anything out. So here, uh, 192. There's two bunkers on the left of the green. One's at like 160, one's at 190. I'm thinking the 160 or the 190 one's gonna be better to be in. So I'm aiming left of the green and I'm um, going for that bunker. It's, it's kind of like that Mel Gibson mentality from the Patriot, like aim small, miss small. We wanna practice aiming at small targets. And the benefit is we want to practice our bunker shots, fairway and greenside, if we can. There's no pressure doing it at the practice range. There's only pressure on the real court. It only, ca it only counts out here. It's the only place it counts. So you got to practice here. And while you're playing, it's, it's hard to practice, but this is something you can do to integrate practice into your playing time. And if you're, you know, with your buddies or whatever, make it a game. Okay, however many holes you want to do it. We're doing the three holes right now. This is great. I mean, I hit it right at the bunker and then it just, it faded a little bit. So I might actually have a good little birdie putt. We'll see. So here's a bunker right there. And there's one right here. My ball is just, just right between it. I didn't miss it by much. So that's the key is, you know, you're, you're really trying to dial in your aiming, right? Because a lot of people just aim at a flag stick and that's just a tiny little stick. You really want to aim at an area. And so the only way to practice that is to aim at some type of area and the bunkers are super defined. So it's a great area kind of thing to aim at. It's really going to help you when you are aiming at a flag. Just think if you're aiming at a flag and you envision a bunker there then you'd, you could do it, but you have to practice it. This is how you do it. And then you have fun because you're trying to get bunker practice at the same time. So many side benefits to this type of challenge that are just fantastic for your game. One is I would never hit a four iron off the tee box here in a million years in competition. I did a three wood and I wouldn't have 190 left. I'd probably have 100. <laughs> so it's like a birdie hole. But, so you get, to, you get to do things and practice stuff that you never would do and you're not angry about it. You're actually excited about it. And that's how you grow and get better. Okay, 11th hole here at the King and Prince Resort course. And okay, there's no fairway bunker here that I see. So, 
this is fantastic. It happens all the time. Here's what you're going to do if you're doing the sand challenge and there's no fairway bunker. Here's, here, here's how you deal with that. There's a shadow out there, okay? Way out there, see it? The last shadow. Here's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to land my ball on the, from the center of the fairway to the right of it. I'm picking a piece of the shadow to land my ball in. That's going to represent the bunker. So if you're in the shadow, great. If there's no shadow, then sometimes fairways have stripes on it. Pick a stripe, right? Something like that. You've got to pick something and keep your points if you get it, all right? So I'm going three wood, shadow, right side. It's got to be the right side of the fairway. There's a red stake to the right of the red stake in the shadow. Let's do it. The sun just went over a cloud, but I missed the shadow. I'm like 15 feet ahead of the shadow. It's messed up. So here's what's crazy. Look at this hole. I've, I mean, I've got a good look at it. I can fire it away, go for birdie. Oh, but wait. I gotta go in a bunker. Which bunker do I go in? Uh, it's a tough one. Probably the left one's a better angle to go into. So let's do it. This is course management in disguise. You are managing your way around numbers and specific locations. So it's like 119 to the back bunker, max. So I'm going 54 degree wedge because there's one in front of it too. So I'm going for one of the first two uh, and I don't want to be past 119. It's so weird. Everybody wants to be better, a better bunker player on course, but nobody wants to go in the bunkers on course. Tell me how that makes sense. It is kind of ridiculously gorgeous out here. King and Prince Resort, golf course, St. Simons Island, Georgia. Heading into the marshland holes. There you go, I have two points now. Got in one bunker, and I I got up and down. So that's a point, point and a point, two points. One more hole to go in the challenge. Okay, 12th hole here. Uh, a little 120 yard par three, as you can see. Very, very short hole. Little bunker there on the right, short right. That's gonna be my target. And there's one over there on the left where they're walking, but I'm not gonna go in that one. I'm going to go in that short right one. All right, uh, this is a tiny sliver of a bunker. We got a point, so we're at three points now. Let's see if we can get to four. Uh, not much room from the bunker to the water, but luckily we did it. Good little angle. We're getting the practice in that we're, we so desperately want. Almost made that puppy. That would have been a bonus. The bar got the bonus. Uh, all right, so that's um, what three points. I should make this four points. Good stuff. All right, there you go. Uh, love you guys. Uh, see you in the next video.